PENDOT'S PROPOSAL TO MAKE DRIVERS PAY TO USE THE INTERSTATE 83 SOUTH BRIDGE IS A HOT TOPIC. NOW PEOPLE ARE HAVING A CHANCE TO EXPRESS THEIR SUPPORT OR CONCERNS. MARK HALL HAS OUR STORY. PENDOT SAYS THE I-83 SOUTH BRIDGE BUILT IN THE 1960s NEEDS TO BE REPLACED AND THAT WILL COST MORE THAN $650 MILLION. SO THEY'RE PROPOSING CHARGING A TOLL IN BOTH DIRECTIONS AND STATE REPRESENTATIVE DON KIEFER IS NOT IN FAVOR. WE HAVE THE HIGHEST GAS TAX IN THE COUNTRY. SO PICK ONE. SO EITHER WE'RE GOING TO DO A PAY FOR USE WITH TOLLING OR WE'RE GOING TO TAX THE GAS. But you can't do both. It's a double taxation, in my opinion. PENDOT held an open house at the Harrisburg Mall to hear from the public. The biggest uh, comment that we're getting so far is a concern about the tolling of the bridge and how much the tolls would be and, the, and how that would impact them depending on how many times they cross the bridge. The toll will be between one to two dollars each way. Low income people can apply for an exemption. Those we talk to know roads and bridges are in bad shape, but they say charging a toll could cause other problems. Everybody's going to go the whole way around, like Mark Street, Home Till Bridge. So going to cross South Bridge. PennDOT officials say drivers will pay using Easy Pass or toll by plate to help keep traffic moving. This is not a done deal. There will be more public meetings and hearings and environmental and traffic studies through the spring. The state legislature could pass a new law to override the project, but if it gets the green light, tolling will begin in late 2023 or early 2024. PennDOT says it needs to happen. There's 125,000 vehicles a day that crosses that bridge. That, that's a lot of wear and tear on the bridge. PennDOT will hold another public meeting on Wednesday at the Penn Harris Hotel in Camp Hill from 1 until 7 p.m. In Harrisburg, Mark Hall, ABC 27 News.